When parked at the FBO or ramp at a towered airport, you'll likely be located at what is called a non-movement area. By definition, this is an area not controlled by ATC, and you can taxi around as you'd like without an ATC clearance. The boundary of this area is identified with two yellow lines, one solid and one dashed. The parking side, or non-movement area, is on the solid line side. To taxi beyond the boundary of the non-movement area, you must call ATC and receive a taxi clearance. We'll cover how to do this in the ATC communications segment later in the course. The ground clearance from ATC will include the specific taxiways you're required to use to taxi to the assigned runway, each of which is identified by a letter of the alphabet. When transitioning from the parking area to the first assigned taxiway, look for a taxiway direction sign. This will feature a black letter on a yellow background, identifying the taxiway name and an arrow pointing in the direction to get to the taxiway. In this example, the sign indicates that taxiway alpha leads out of the parking area. The surface markings on a taxiway are yellow and include a solid stripe to identify the center line and double solid lines to identify the taxiway edges. Taxiway location signs indicate the taxiway on which you are located and include yellow text on a black background. The black sign with the yellow letter A indicates you are currently located on taxiway alpha. When approaching an intersecting taxiway, you'll see a combination of both the location and direction signs. The black sign with the yellow letter A again indicates you're on taxiway alpha, and it continues straight ahead, while the yellow sign with the black letter B indicates the upcoming intersection with taxiway Bravo. Some taxiways will include a holding position marking on the ground for intersecting taxiways, this is a single dashed yellow line, and you must stop before this line if ATC instructs you to hold short of the intersecting taxiway. The most critical part of any airport as it relates to runway safety is the point where a taxiway intersects a runway. For this reason, you will find the highest number of signs and markings at this key position to alert you about what's up ahead. First, there will be a yellow hold short marking painted on the taxiway surface. This consists of four yellow lines, two solid and two dashed, with the solid lines located on the taxiway side. You must receive a clearance from ATC before crossing the solid lines to cross or enter the runway. At many airports, you'll also find an enhanced center line leading up to the hold short line, designed to get your attention that an active runway is up ahead. This consists of yellow dashes on either side of the normal taxiway center line for a maximum of 150 feet prior to a runway holding position marking. To the left of the hold short line will be a red runway holding position sign. When at the end of the runway, this sign will display just the one runway number that you're approaching. In this example, we are positioned at the start of runway 27. You may also see a supplemental painted version of the red runway hold short sign on the pavement directly in front of the hold short line, displaying the same runway number identification.